Hello, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. Check that. Perfect. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I do apologize about my throat, guys. <clears throat> uh, this is your general, your general love reading for June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. And this section is really for those that just kind of click for see me shuffle on camera. I always say, you know, take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Okay. And if this isn't your story, I don't pick up on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we recreate, we act. So give me a moment, guys. I'm just going to take these in. And if you see extra cards, I just needed to clarify. Um, so see you in So the, the, let's start your reading. Let me just do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking out this this being your side. Plus, I think it's dealing with over here. But you can always, over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner of the screen. All right, so. All right, so I'm going to start with you. I'm going to start by saying that, you know, you're in the middle of kind of process, or you was, this is kind of the past. You was processing, at some point you was processing this, not wanting to acknowledge how you really feel within this relationship, within this connection. You know, it's a, it, it kind of has a lot to do, to do with your happiness. You were not acknowledging what really makes you happy, what really what makes your heart sing with that nine of cups there but it fills up with this process and this kind of trying to balance your thinking took great strength to be able to admit to yourself what you was not wanting to admit to in the past or at some point what it is that makes me happy what it is that makes me feel good is does this person do that am i in a relationship that is conducive of that for me and it's like you kind of came to some form of realization that no, it's not. There's disappointment there for you. Disappointment in what you've already built. Maybe at one point you had that emotional connection. So for some of you at one point you had it and now it's gone. Or you just never had it to begin with. We've got the death card there. Didn't exist. Something else was kind of pulling this relationship for you. Or it's changed. And it's interesting because this person, it kind of irritates me simply because I feel like I don't like uh, controlling type people. And I get this controlling vibe from this person because they're aware of maybe just due to you communicating with them, but they're aware of something. They're aware of what's not working. They're aware of how you feel. I'm going to say that, but they're choosing to not put that or take that into consideration being a bit controlling, a bit um, dominant. They must really have a very dominant energy as well. Or just kind of not paying attention to you, brushing aside what you're really feeling and being adamant about maintaining or keeping your, keeping this relationship going with that nine there. Acting reckless or thinking recklessly because they have an emotional connection. Because they sense that this could come to an end. What they've built with you, whatever that is, could come to an end. Something that they feel, you know, they haven't finished building as well. But yeah, that can come to an end. That's where that's coming from. But I mean, good gosh, you can't keep someone in a relationship that they don't want to be in. And it's getting that, it's giving me that kind of vibe from this person, you know. But you're still trapped. You know, you're still kind of, it's still keeping you trapped in your thinking and your thoughts. Um, you know, and it, that doesn't feel good. In fact, I would go so far as to say, because we do have that 
three of swords. This is either heartbreak. I feel like this is heartbreak. You've been hurt in this relationship. And not necessarily because they've hurt you. Maybe you've gotten into this relationship for reasons that only you would know. That didn't take into consideration the emotional aspect of this relationship. You don't say more. So that in itself is causing you kind of just disappointment, heartbreak, hurt. Sometimes when we realize that we're the ones that made certain choices that's put us in certain situations, that's a tough pill to swallow. So that could be the case here, or it could be something that this person has done, which has caused that for you. Either way, there's stress around that. I can grab these. There's stress around around that, but it's like I've still got to get I got to get on top of this. I got to get on top of this. I got to start thinking in a more logical way. I got to strategize. I got to be more mature in my thinking when dealing with this. And with that comes this eight of cups which talks about moving away from a situation leaving something behind towards that ninth cup going back to that nine of cups towards your happiness towards what makes you feel good towards ultimately what it is that you're you're wanting now you might not have actually executed that as yet because we do have the karma card maybe there's certain things you need to face we still have that burden a burden is more around you not you know you needing to heal you needing to fix you need to so, you know, get over this, get over this. So, like I said, you might not have physically exited, but emotionally you're on that verge of moving out of it. Um, yeah, this person has shown up as a 10. So there's this recognition of an ending, recognition of an ending. So for a lot of you, you've actually left the situation. Um, but yeah, there's an end in there. They're kind of, or they recognize that that's, they can sense that coming, either or. But yeah, that's keeping them trapped, keeping them trapped up in their head, you know, unable to escape, um, trying to process things. They think it's a third party or someone else involved. You know, it, it can't possibly be due to, you know, their, 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 their actions or, it can't possibly be due to maybe you waking up to something that, you know, is within you. I mean, we, we always run to the third party, the third uh, energy and interference, ultimately. So, yeah, this person's kind of thinking in that way. So I feel like mm, that's quite interesting. We've got the Queen of Cups. I feel like that kind of makes them... How do I put that? Just say it. It kind of makes them feel, eases the irritation of this ending for some reason. Because there's a level of emotional maturity around this understanding, patience. Um, and that might be coming from a place of them not being, not being or feeling threatened by this third energy. This potential third energy anyway. I don't feel like it is. It's more about you just not being happy. Could be for some of you, but I don't, it's not, I could be. I'm not picking it up in your spread. Yeah, this person was looking long term with you. Well, this is someone that they feel you being with. They be, you be they've been with you for a while, or just it being meaningful to them. And that's with the hangman. There's there's been a halt in that. Stop. I know there's stop, but we've got that six of wands and that knight of wands, which talks about this person wants this back. There's a lot of passion and a lot of desire for that to happen. For that to happen. Now, you know, I don't feel like they're going to get, I mean, I'm, I'm not implementing part two of the readings just yet, guys. I will be implementing that soon, so just look out for that. But as it stands, for you, I feel like this is more about you recognizing what makes you happy. Ultimately, now it might have started off as something else, but it's led to this place of you realizing, you know, what it is and seeing and knowing more so what it is that makes you happy, emotionally happy. You know, maybe for some of you, you was caught up in the material uh, elements of the relationship or of a relationship. And now you've kind of realized that it's not really, it's, it's all meaningless without the emotional connection that you have with someone. It's all meaningless without that, you know, understanding and that being emotionally happy and sharing experiences with each other and communicating and all of that type of stuff. 
It's more about recognizing what makes you happy. And I feel like with that recognition, you're not going to turn back on something that ultimately doesn't make you happy. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarification or some form of guidance. Um, hopefully, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests to you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next.